everyone, welcome back to my flute tips and thank you again for your wonderful questions that you put on my Instagram about what you would like to see me discuss in future tips. So please keep your questions or comments coming. I really love being in touch with flutists. And um, this next question uh, was about resonance, or at least I received a few along those lines. Um, so we can talk about the idea of resonance in a few different ways. Firstly, we all think about projection, that being very important, and having the kind of sound that has what we often describe as presence, that fills a hall, not necessarily the loudest, because um, that could be about volume, but if you're talking about actual uh, quality of sound and projection, it's often a very just focused, centered sound that has that kind of presence that enables you to project uh, the music, so at all different volumes um, and dynamics and levels of expression and tone colors in a huge hall or in a small room. So let's think about that, um, the idea of focus uh, on flute. I like often to describe an ideal flute sound as combining brightness and darkness or sort of um, depth in, in those two areas and you can kind of blend those in and out depending on the type of music that you're playing. So for example, sparkling Vivaldi will sound very different from the color that you use in some reflective Bach, for example. describe both as having resonance just because of the way that the sound is very pure and centered in the middle and uh, flexible in terms of being able to have different dynamics and tone colors. So how do we get resonance when we're playing? I think one of the fundamental ways is to have an open throat. And this is a concept that comes up a lot when playing flute. It's also important, I think, to other wind instruments as well as singers, uh, open and relaxed. Um, so one point I want to make is often when we think about having an open throat to have a resonant open sound, you can actually get tense because you're trying so hard to keep your throat open. So I think often um, the way I like to describe the open throat is to describe it in terms of releasing the throat. So keeping it open through oh, the feeling of a yawn or just if you're saying Ah, oh, when you actually feel relaxed is really helpful because then you get more space for resonance in your throat and also the soft palate comes up and creates again more space for resonance. Um, so that's very, very great for sound. concerto in G, I was thinking very much about opening the throat and mouth and palate. And to take that to the next level for additional resonance, you can think about opening the mask of your face or your sinuses. And probably as I'm saying this, my voice is changing because I'm thinking about resonating inside of all of uh, the cavities in, in my sinuses and, and face area. And you can think of really relaxing sort of behind your nose and your forehead and um, a great way into this um, is to try by flaring your nostrils. I just love doing this on camera, but you can try to flare them and that helps you think of internal space inside of your face. And then if you play in that position, that might also help uh, get a little bit more resonance and openness into your sound. for ever 
ever better and more beautiful resonance while playing, and I look forward to hearing some feedback from you on how they went. Have fun.